Hi, my name is Jack from Tech Help Direct, and today I'm going to demonstrate how we use Apple Configurator 2 and Cisco Meraki Systems Manager as an MDM or mobile device management for iOS deployments within the business and education space. So let's have a look at Systems Manager, which is accessible with an internet connection and any internet browser. I've now logged into our Systems Manager account and you can see we're greeted with a clients list. So this gives us an inf information for all devices that are enrolled within our MDM, which is really, it gives you a really good oversight. You can see the, the name of the device, the model of the device, as well as what operating system is running. And also you can see how much of the disk is being used, so how much has been taken up already. If you wanted to go through and add some more information, you can click on the plus and Meraki gives you a large amount of uh, different columns you can add, which give you more, more information. If we go across to the Systems Manager VPP section, you'll see here that all the apps that we've purchased through the Volume Purchase Program portal with Apple link directly within Meraki. So this is an automated process. You purchase the apps through the Apple VPP store, and they associate themselves within here. Now you can see down below here the apps. These are all the apps that we have. And we can also see the total licenses that we have purchased and how many are available and currently how many are in use. So this gives you a good indication on if you need to purchase new licenses or just to show you which devices are, uh, are licensed to that app. One of the big things with iOS 9 is the device assignable. Uh, Apple has let developers uh, make their apps device assignable, which is really handy if you're pushing down apps to many iPads because there's no Apple ID needed anymore. It just silently installs in the background. Now, if once we get, once we, we've, the app has been added in the VPP section of Meraki, we need to go ahead and add that app within the Meraki section here, App Management. To go through and add a new app, we just click on Add New and then iOS app. And it's very important to change the country to Australia or wherever you are. We can go through and search for, for that app. Now once the app has been added, we can, Meraki uses uh, a static tags, so we can tag our devices into certain groups, so that group will only get that app that you've, you've tagged it. So we can see here, purchase method, want to always make sure that you've selected that to VPP device assignment, if that is available, and that, that's, that's only with iOS 9, so that's where it goes through and installs silently in the background. Uh, and then install on all devices. If this app is you want it to push down to all your I iOS devices, you can leave that there, or we can change it within with any of the following tags. So I just want this app to push down to uh, iPads that are under the education tag. So this will only install on iPads that we have tagged as education, and you can add multiple tags within within there as well. It doesn't need to be just one. Now the options here, remove with MDM, that's a big one. You want to be able to go ahead and remove it through the Meraki Systems Management platform so you don't have to actually get the device and, and remove it uh, you know, manually. And uh, attempt to manage, unmanage. If you're doing a brand new deployment, that doesn't, that's not important. Um, but if you do have iPads out in, in, in your environment and you want to go ahead and manage those apps that are already pushed down onto the device and they're not unmanaged, that's a big thing to tick as well. Now once you've gone ahead and done all that, you can click save down the bottom right and that will add it within, within the apps management section of Meraki. Now let's have a look and see what it looks like going through and supervising the device in Apple, Apple Configurator 2 and enrolling it directly into the Meraki MDM. So now we're in Apple Configurator 2, which is a free download available through the App Store on El Capitan. Um, because this device isn't in the DEP or device enrollment program, we are using uh, Apple Configurator. Uh, this will go through to supervise the device, but also push down Wi-Fi profiles uh, to the devices. So if you're pushing out 100 devices or trying to enroll 100 devices, you don't want to sit there entering in the SSID if it's a hidden network or the proxy details. So we can actually create a profile to push down to the device when they when they go through and become supervised within Apple Configurator. So it's a great time-saving step. So now blueprints, so we want to apply that profile to all iPads so we can create a blueprint. So to do that, click on the blueprints and then edit. And we want to go down to the bottom left and click new and we can call that iPad. So now to, we just double click onto the blueprint and we can select the target, which will be iPad. And then on the left here, you'll see info, apps and profiles. 
Now we want to select profiles because we're not using configurator to push apps down to the device anymore. That's where systems manager from Meraki comes into play. So we want to go across to profiles and then we want to add, add that to profile we've just we've just created before. And then all we need to do is click done and then that blueprint's now added. So we want to go ahead and prepare this device for supervision. So you just highlight the device. So if you've got a sync station, you might have 16 or 20 in here. You can select them all and go prepare. And the configuration will be manual um, because the, the iPad's not on the DEP, we want to choose manual. The server, you can choose do not enroll in MDM or we've already added our Meraki MDM uh, server within Apple Configurator. Uh, you can allow the device to, well, you can s say yes to supervising the di device as well as allowing the devices to pair with other computers. Uh, the organization, this will show up in the settings general about section of the iPad. Um, so choose the organization there. If you want to add a new one, you just go new and then next and fill out the information as required here. But for today, we'll just keep it as tech help direct and we go next and we can configure the iOS setup assistant so we can go through here and tick what we what we need to see so language region and location services that's the only thing we need uh, if you want to go ahead and see Siri you can just put a tick there or just however you want to configure it once that's all done we'll go ahead and prepare and Apple Configurator will ensure that it is up to date with the latest version of iOS 9 uh, you can go through and configure it to only install previous versions, um, but making sure the iPads are up to date is one of the best practice just to make sure everything is, is working. So now that iPad is, is supervised, we'll come across the supervised here. We can see that iPad unsupervised. It's not there. So we want to push down that Wi-Fi blueprint. So we just highlight the, the iPad, click on blueprint, go iPad. We want to apply that. So what will happen now is it will apply that Wi-Fi profile onto the device. So let's go through and, and I'll show you what it looks like on the iPad and what it looks like when we, when we push apps out through Meraki Systems Manager. So our iPad has gone through supervision with an Apple Configurator 2 and the first thing you can notice on the top left is it's already connected directly to our Wi-Fi thanks to our, the blueprint that we created. So we're gonna go through the setup um, obviously these are what we selected to show up within the iOS setup. We can enable location services. And this is just letting you know that um, you know, the tech help direct can automatically configure your iPad. So we want to apply that configuration. This is just going through and linking back to Meraki and enrolling, enrolling the iPad into our systems manager platform. So we obviously need to go ahead and agree to these terms and conditions and we can get started and now our iPad has gone through and, and is now supervised within Apple Configurator and enrolled within Meraki so now we need to go back into Meraki Systems Manager and associate static tags to this device so it gets those gets the apps that it needs so you can see at the top here uh, iPad this is the the iPad that we've just gone ahead and, and enrolled within Meraki so you can see it's already on our dashboard uh, but the tags are, are, there's no tags associated with this. It, sometimes it will also show up as recently added, so you can use the search bar at the top here to go through and search for recently added if you've got a large number of iPads within your client list. So now we want to go ahead and, and tag this iPad, uh, iPad with static tags to, like I said before, push down the apps that we need to this to this iPad. So there's this two ways of doing it. You can just simply click on the tag, tick box here, and then we can go tag, and we can go through and type in well, we've already got pre-existing tags, so we're going to choose education and demo. If you're wanting to add a new tag that's not listed, you can just type in iPad 9, and then you can go add an option, and it'll add it as a, as a tag for future devices. So once we're happy with that, we can go add. And you can see on the right here that demo and education has already been added to that device. Now we want to remove the null tag. We go remove. And that's it. So let's take a look into Meraki or into this device and see what's going to happen now. So you can see all the information is listed here. We've got updates pending and 18 apps missing. If we scroll down to the bottom, we can see that the iPad has gone through a client refresh and it's going through and, and pinging Meraki to see what apps it needs to, to be pushed down and what profiles. So let's go back to the iPad and have a look and see what the silent, silently installing apps look like on iOS 9.
So you can see we've already enrolled it, we've assigned the tag and straight away apps are starting to be pushed down to, to this device. So these are apps that we've tagged within education, um, so education apps will be pushed down. Um, now when we've gone out to businesses or educational institutes, we generally set up a Mac OS X caching server. Uh, what that does is stores the apps locally on your network. So you download it once and they're stored there on, on the server. So the next iPad will get the apps locally and it won't, it won't use your internet and slow down your internet connection throughout the whole network. So we're just going through and we're just going to wait through all these apps to be pushed down and you can see there was no interaction needed from myself. Um, it's just simply silently installed to the app. Previously you've needed to go through and enter an Apple ID first for it to, to go through but within iOS 9 and managed distribution there's no need for that whatsoever. So now all we need to do is put that iPad to the side and then get started on, on the next batch of iPads. So you can see now all of our apps have been pushed down to, to this iPad and like I said previously there was no need for us to enter an Apple ID uh, thanks to iOS 9 and device assignable apps. So moving forward uh, if you get a new request for an app we just go through and, and add the app within the Meraki Systems Manager platform and then tag that, that app to be pushed out to certain devices. So you don't actually need to get the device and connect it to a computer and then push the app down through Apple Configurator which makes for a really, really nice and pleasant experience with managing lots and lots of iPads. So that was a quick demonstration on how we use Apple Configurator 2 with Systems Manager from Meraki to manage iOS devices. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below or get in touch with us at info at Thank you.